Ibrahim Raisi, the current president of Iran, is a figure who embodies the complexities and contradictions of the Islamic Republic. His journey from a humble clerical background to the pinnacle of power is a story interwoven with piety, ambition and controversy. Raisi's name resonates far beyond Iran's borders, carrying with it the weight of accusations and international scrutiny. Born in the holy city of Mashhad, Raisi's path was set early on within the religious seminaries. His rise through the ranks of the Iranian clergy was steady and marked by unwavering loyalty to the principles of the Islamic Revolution. This steadfast commitment propelled him to positions of significant influence, including the judiciary, where his actions would later draw international condemnation. Raisi's ascent to the presidency, while welcomed by his conservative supporters, was met with apprehension by others, both inside and outside Iran. His hardline stance, particularly on social issues and foreign policy, has raised concerns about the future direction of the Islamic Republic and its place in the world. Ibrahim Raisi's story begins in the heart of Iran's religious establishment. Born in 1960 in Mashhad, a city revered for housing the shrine of Imam Reza, Raisi's early life was steeped in religious devotion. His family's piety and his own inclination towards spiritual learning led him to the seminary, a path that would shape his worldview and future trajectory. Within the hallowed halls of the Qom Seminary, one of Shia Islam's most prestigious centers of learning, Raisi immersed himself in theological studies. The seminary, a crucible of intellectual and ideological discourse, instilled in him a deep understanding of Islamic jurisprudence and a staunch commitment to the principles of the 1979 revolution. Raisi's time in Qom coincided with a period of intense political and social upheaval in Iran. The revolution, led by Ayatollah Khomeini, had overthrown the monarchy and established the Islamic Republic. The young Raisi, deeply influenced by Khomeini's teachings, became a fervent supporter of the new regime, seeing it as a beacon of Islamic revival and social justice. His unwavering commitment to the revolution and his growing reputation for piety and erudition caught the attention of influential figures within the newly established Islamic Republic. These connections would pave the way for Raisi's entry into the corridors of power, marking the beginning of his ascent through the ranks of the Iranian clergy and the judiciary. Raisi's rise within the Iranian judiciary was rapid and marked by a series of key appointments. He served as prosecutor in various cities, including Karaj and Hamadan, gaining a reputation for his strict interpretation of Islamic law and his uncompromising approach to upholding the principles of the Islamic Republic. His most consequential role came in 1988, when he was appointed to a four-man committee tasked with carrying out the fatwa issued by Ayatollah Khomeini. This fatwa ordered the mass execution of thousands of political prisoners, primarily members of the Mujahideen Ekalk, uh, M -E -E -K, deemed to be apostates by the regime. Raisi's role in these executions has cast a long shadow over his career, making him a deeply controversial figure both within Iran and internationally. Human rights groups have accused him of crimes against humanity, alleging his direct involvement in the extrajudicial killings of prisoners. Despite the cloud of controversy surrounding his involvement in the 1988 executions, Raisi continued his ascent within the Iranian judiciary. He held positions of significant influence, including Prosecutor General of Tehran, Head of the General Inspection Office, and First Deputy Head of the Judiciary. These roles solidified his position as a powerful figure within the Iranian establishment. Raisi's ascent within the Iranian power structure continued throughout the 2000s. He was appointed as the Prosecutor General of Tehran in 2003, a position that placed him at the heart of Iran's legal system. His tenure was marked by a strict adherence to Islamic law and a focus on combating corruption, which resonated with his conservative base. In 2014, Raisi was chosen to lead the Aston Quds Razavi, a powerful charitable foundation responsible for managing the Imam Reza Shrine in Mashhad. This appointment, seen as a significant promotion, highlighted his standing within the Iranian leadership. The Aston Quds Razavi with its vast economic resources and religious influence provided Raisi with a platform to further solidify his position within the Iranian establishment. 
Raisi's next major appointment came in 2016 when he was chosen by Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei to head the judiciary. This position, one of the most powerful in Iran, gave him oversight over the country's judicial system and further solidified his reputation as a hardline figure. His tenure as Chief Justice was marked by a focus on combating corruption and promoting social justice, aligning with his conservative ideology. However, his record as Chief Justice also drew criticism from human rights groups who accused him of overseeing a system marked by arbitrary arrests, unfair trials and restrictions on freedom of speech and assembly. Ibrahim Raisi's political ambitions became evident in 2017 when he first entered the presidential race. He campaigned on a platform of economic justice, fighting corruption and upholding Islamic values, appealing to his conservative base. Despite a strong showing, he ultimately lost to the incumbent Hassan Rouhani. Undeterred by this initial setback, Raisi remained a prominent figure within Iranian politics. He continued to champion conservative values and criticized the Rouhani government's approach to economic and social issues. His unwavering stance and his image as a pious figure resonated with a segment of the Iranian population disillusioned with the perceived shortcomings of the Rouhani administration. The 2021 presidential election presented Raisi with another opportunity to vie for the highest office in the land. This time, the political landscape had shifted in his favor. Rouhani was ineligible to run for a third term, and the conservative faction within the Iranian government had consolidated its power. Raisi entered the race as a front-runner, his campaign focusing on economic revitalization, social justice, and a strong independent foreign policy. He presented himself as a champion of the common man, promising to address issues like unemployment, inflation, and the perceived erosion of traditional values. The 2021 Iranian presidential election saw Ibrahim Raisi emerge victorious, securing a decisive victory over his rivals. His win marked a significant shift in Iranian politics, signaling the consolidation of power within the conservative faction of the government. Raisi's victory was attributed to several factors. His campaign resonated with a segment of the population struggling with economic hardship and disillusioned with the perceived lack of progress under the previous administration. His image as a pious man, untainted by corruption, appealed to voters seeking a return to traditional values and a strong principled leadership. His conservative supporters viewed his victory as a mandate to pursue a more hardline approach to domestic and foreign policy. They anticipated a tougher stance against Western influence, a greater emphasis on Islamic principles in public life, and a more assertive approach to regional issues. Raisi's presidency, however, was met with mixed reactions internationally. Western governments expressed concern over his human rights record and his hardline stance on issues like the nuclear program and regional conflicts. Human rights organizations voiced apprehension about the potential for increased restrictions on civil liberties and freedom of expression under his leadership. Since assuming the presidency, Raisi has faced a complex array of challenges both domestically and internationally. On the domestic front, he has grappled with a struggling economy exacerbated by sanctions and the global pandemic. Rising inflation, unemployment and shortages of essential goods have fueled public discontent, testing his ability to deliver on his campaign promises of economic revitalization. Raisi's conservative agenda has also faced resistance from within Iranian society. His focus on enforcing Islamic values and his crackdown on dissent have drawn criticism from those who advocate for greater social freedoms and individual liberties. His government's response to protests, often met with a heavy hand, has further fueled tensions and highlighted the divisions within Iranian society. On the international stage, Raisi has adopted a more assertive and confrontational approach. His hardline stance on the nuclear program, his support for regional allies and his criticisms of Western policies have strained relations with the United States and its allies. His decision to prioritize engagement with countries like Russia and China reflects a strategic shift towards the East seeking to counterbalance Western pressure and forge new partnerships in a multipolar world. This approach, while driven by a desire to strengthen Iran's position, has also raised concerns about its long-term implications for regional stability and global power dynamics. 
Ibrahim Raisi's presidency represents a resurgence of conservative ideology in Iranian politics. His worldview, shaped by his clerical background and his unwavering commitment to the principles of the Islamic Revolution, informs his approach to governance and his vision for Iran's future. Central to Raisi's ideology is the belief in the paramount importance of Islamic principles in guiding public life. He advocates for a society rooted in religious values, where Islamic law serves as the foundation for legal and social norms. This vision is reflected in his government's policies, which emphasize the promotion of Islamic culture, the enforcement of religious codes of conduct, and the restriction of activities deemed contrary to Islamic teachings. Raisi's economic policies are also guided by his conservative principles. He advocates for a self-sufficient economy, less reliant on Western influence, and focused on promoting social justice and equitable distribution of wealth. His emphasis on domestic production, support for local industries and efforts to combat corruption align with his vision of an Islamic economy that prioritizes the well-being of the common man. On the international stage, Raisi's conservative ideology translates into a strong emphasis on national sovereignty and resistance to foreign interference. He views the West, particularly the United States, with suspicion, believing that their policies aim to undermine Iran's independence and regional influence. His foreign policy, therefore, prioritizes strengthening ties with countries that share Iran's vision of a multipolar world, where Western hegemony is challenged and alternative power centers emerge. Ibrahim Raisi's human rights record has been a subject of intense scrutiny and criticism from international organizations and human rights advocates. His involvement in the 1988 mass executions where he served on the committee responsible for carrying out the fatwa issued by Ayatollah Khomeini remains a deeply contentious issue. Human rights groups accuse Raisi of complicity in crimes against humanity, alleging his direct involvement in the extrajudicial killings of thousands of political prisoners. They point to his role in the trials, which lacked due process, and often resulted in summary executions without fair hearings or opportunities for appeal. Raisi's defenders argue that he was merely carrying out the orders of the highest religious authority in the land and that his actions were in line with the revolutionary zeal of the time. They maintain that the executions were necessary to protect the Islamic Republic from internal threats and that those executed were guilty of serious crimes against the state. Despite these defenses, Raisi's human rights record continues to cast a long shadow over his presidency. International organizations like Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch have called for investigations into his role in the 1988 executions, demanding accountability for the alleged atrocities. Ibrahim Raisi's presidency has unfolded under the heavy weight of international sanctions, a persistent challenge that has hampered Iran's economic growth and limited its ability to engage with the global community. These sanctions imposed primarily by the United States and its allies target key sectors of the Iranian economy, including oil exports, financial transactions and access to international markets. The impact of sanctions on the Iranian economy has been profound. They have led to a sharp decline in oil revenues, a major source of income for the government, resulting in budget deficits and a shortage of funds for essential services. The sanctions have also made it difficult for Iranian businesses to operate internationally, hindering trade and investment opportunities. The Iranian people have borne the brunt of the economic hardship caused by sanctions. Rising inflation has eroded purchasing power, unemployment has increased, and shortages of essential goods have become commonplace. This economic strain has fueled public discontent, leading to protests and social unrest, posing a significant challenge to Raisi's government. Raisi has denounced the sanctions as unjust and illegal, arguing that they are a form of economic warfare aimed at crippling Iran and forcing it to submit to Western demands. He has called for the lifting of sanctions, arguing that they are counterproductive and only serve to harm the Iranian people. Ibrahim Raisi's presidency has ushered in a new era in Iranian politics, one marked by a resurgence of conservative ideology, a hardening of positions on the international stage, and a deepening of the divide between Iran and the West. 
His leadership, while welcomed by his supporters, has been met with concern and apprehension by others, both within Iran and globally. Raisi's impact on Iranian politics is undeniable. He has consolidated the power of the conservative faction, shifted the country's focus towards the east and taken a more confrontational approach to international relations. His policies, driven by his unwavering belief in the principles of the Islamic Revolution and his vision of a strong, independent Iran, have far-reaching implications for the future of the Islamic Republic and its place in the world. The global implications of Raisi's leadership are significant. His hardline stance on the nuclear program, his support for regional allies and his criticisms of Western policies have fueled tensions in an already volatile region. His efforts to forge closer ties with Russia and China while aimed at countering Western pressure also raise concerns about the potential for escalating geopolitical rivalries and the reshaping of global power dynamics.